Hi, I'm Blake Burkamp with Great Plains. One of the most important pieces to growing a successful food plot is soil fertility. That is why we previously pulled soil samples, and today we're going to go over uh, how to calibrate our Land Pride spin spreader. And the first section of our soil test gives us a soil test value for each of the nutrients and the soil properties that were requested. In section two and three, uh, show where these soil test values align with the nutrient requirements of the requested crops. In our case, we are planning to plant two food plots, uh, one being sorghum and the other being soybeans. Below the nutrient graph in sections two and three, you will find the nutrient recommendations in pounds per acre. For sorghum, the recommendation calls for 65 pounds of nitrogen per acre and one pound of zinc per acre. There is no recommendations for phosphorus or potassium as they are found to be sufficient in the soil. Additionally, there is no recommendation for lime as a soil amendment due to the high soil test pH of 7.8. Notice for soybeans, there's only a one pound per acre of zinc requirement and no recommendation for additional nitrogen. This is due to soybeans being a legume crop, which fix their own nitrogen. Uh, before we begin spreading fertilizer, there are four important things that we must consider. And that is our fertilizer source, our application rate, our timing, and placement. Knowing the fertilizer source is important so that you can apply the correct rate. However, before deciding what fertilizer source to use, it is important to research uh, what the proper timing and placement methods are. For example, uh, when selecting which fertilizer source could be impacted by your equipment capabilities, uh, your tillage method, your soil type, or your soil conditions. For instance, if you're applying urea as your nitrogen source, it's best to incorporate it in with tillage or apply just prior to a rain to ensure that it is moved down into the root zone and available to the crop. If urea is left on the surface uh, for an extended amount of time, you risk losing the nitrogen into the atmosphere through volatilization. After choosing your fertilizer source, you're ready to calibrate your fertilizer spreader. For our plot, we need to apply 65 pounds of nitrogen Urea has an analysis of 46.00. Now remember, that this means that the fertilizer analysis for urea is 46% nitrogen and 0% phosphorus and potassium. To calculate how much uh, urea we need to apply, we simply need to take our recommended rate of 65 pounds of nitrogen per acre divided by 0.46. This comes out to be 141 pounds of urea fertilizer per acre. For the purpose and simplicity, uh, we'll round up to the nearest five pounds and plan to apply 145 pounds of urea per acre. According to the operator's manual, uh, to apply 145 pounds of fertilizer per acre, it suggests that we use gate setting three at an operating speed between five and seven and a half miles per hour. The first step here uh, will be to fill the spreader with a known weight of fertilizer. Next, we measured our spreader and found our spreader width to be 53 feet. To find how far we need to drive the spreader to cover one eighth of an acre, we need to take 5,445 square feet, which is equivalent to one eighth of an acre, divided by our spreader pattern width, which in our case is 53 feet. Uh, when we take this 5,445 square feet divided by 53, it equals 103 feet. After driving the known distance, we need to weigh uh, the remaining fertilizer left in the spreader and subtract it from the amount initially put in the spreader. We will need to multiply this weight by eight to find out what our fertilizer rate is in pounds per acre. In our calibration, we found that we applied 18 pounds over our eighth of an acre distance. 18 times eight equals 144 pounds per acre. If your spreader is not applying your desired rate, you can either readjust the settings or adjust your operating speed. As an extra tip, if you are applying a high rate of fertilizer, it may be easier to apply a half rate and cover the field twice going in a different direction each time. This will also help ensure that you cover any skips that you may have made uh, in doing a single pass. Once the sprayer is calibrated to apply the appropriate rate, you're ready to go fertilize your food plot. 